Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now today guys, in this video, I'm going to be testing out a new product that um, I got the other day. And this was actually recommended to me by the British Cactus and Succulent Society, which is an amazing society, especially dedicated for people who love cacti and succulent plants. They have a number of societies all throughout um, the UK and Ireland. And they're absolutely amazing, guys. Highly recommend them. I'm going to talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. <laughs> but this is about the SB Plant Invigorator and Bug Killer. And apparently it's an environmentally friendly um, insecticide and it also is a fertiliser as well. And I've heard people recommending this to me a few times actually over the years and I've never actually been able to find it. I've, I've always been looking in garden centres and that and when I've asked they've looked at me, the staff have looked at me a bit blank. But this was in um, the this month's edition of um, Cactus World which is a... a quarterly magazine that the British Cactus and Succulent Society issue out if you're a member very very good full of amazing information I've learned so much from them and um, the British Cactus and Succulent Society actually holds monthly meetings throughout Ireland and the UK to to cactus and succulent fanatics like myself and Hans and they're amazing it's a great way to go to the meetings and meet other like-minded people and even if you happen to live outside Ireland or the UK you can also still be a member and receive the magazine which is amazing in itself or if you live in America and other, other parts of the world you often find that they'll have their own cactus society so do go and check them out guys fantastic way to meet friends make friends and meet other like-minded people and it was from the, their quarterly magazine that I read about this now lots of you will know and anyone who's familiar with growing any type of plant indoor plant anyway particularly will be familiar with a lot of insect pests um, unfortunately they are really there's nothing you can really do about it except prevent as much as possible. And mealybugs, spider mites, thrips, um, aphids, they all tend to be the most popular ones. The two that really attack succulent plants seem to be mealybug and spider mite. They're the bane of my life and the bane of most cacti and succulent growers' lives. And they really are a pain because they seem, they are really... They're really impossible to completely get rid of. And I think the biggest challenge for cacti and succulent growers and really any houseplant grower is to accept you're never going to have completely pest-free plants. It's just not it's just not possible. So the next thing you have to do is to just try and eliminate them and prevent them as much as possible. And when you do get an, an attack, deal with it the best way. Now, years ago, I, I with mealybug especially, I used to use a product called... Um, Provado, Provado, and I used to find it very effective. It's more of a prevention. I used to water it into the soil and it acts as a as a prevention, a systemic, and I never had a problem. But these these products now aren't very effective and most insects have become completely immune to them. So I've been using neem oil, which is a natural um, insecticide. Very happy with it, I have to say. Um, I've had very good results using it last year. I made a few videos when I did and um, very happy with it. I seem to find very minimal insects now, especially mealybug, um, since I've been using it. And as I say, it's not a cure-all. It's more about to eliminate it as much as you possibly can. And I also like to use um, isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. When I see them straight away, I like to dab them or spray them with that. And again, very effective. And the neem is good as a prevention as well. But I've made multiple videos when I do that. And it seems to be working. So that gets a big thumbs up from me. But I've never, I've never used SB Plant Invigorator. And as I say, this was recommended in the Cactus World uh, magazine from the British Cactus Circular Society and I decided to go ahead and order it and this is the first time I've ever used this I've never used this before so this is not a review as such because I can't say how it works but people who do use it and they've said to me Lynn it's brilliant not only have they not noticed any mealybugs and spider mice or certainly less of an outbreak of them since they've been using this but they've noticed a lot of good growth also on their plants because it's also a growth stimulant now it's recommended it says it's ideal for orchids and house plants and obviously I do we feed, me and Hansi feed our cacti and succulents. We like to use good old baby bio and also maxi crop um, as well, which is normally known for tomatoes, but it's great for producing flowers on cacti. 
that's happy happy with that too um, but this is a growth stimulant now what you use you actually do is you mix it into a, a mixer spray in water and you use one it is one um, so it's it's five, 10 milliliters per one liter. Let me just double check as I say I'm new to this. Yes, it's 10 milliliters of a concentrate, which is this capful here, to one liter of water. And this is exactly one liter in this pump spray. So Hans has already mixed it for me. He's an absolute diamond, I should say. He's mixed 10 milliliters already in here, giving it a good shake. And it's, you really do need to give it a good mix. And as I say, this is new to me. So this is not necessarily a recommendation because because I like to be familiar with products before I actually say, go ahead and buy it. But this is only, you know, I'm doing this now and I'm going to report back on how our plants get on. As I say, we're pretty lucky at the moment. We're bug free. No signs of mealybugs or, or spider mite at this moment in time. But as I say, it's early spring <laughs> and we're not stupid enough. They do seem to, they do appear usually from this time onwards. But as I say, this is going to be more how, how it goes all through the summer and also as a growth stimulant. And you show you the bottle here, it says controls white fly, aphids, spider mite, mealybug, scale and mildew. So it seems to do everything, which is absolutely brilliant. And as I say, 500 milliliters there and you only use 10 milliliter per litre, you get quite a lot out of this. So it's, I think it's about 15, 15 pounds, probably about 17 euros. Um, so it's good value because it's very concentrated. And it's going to be good to see how it gets on. It says you can use it weekly, but cacti are ones that you don't really want to over fertilize because you don't want them growing a bit leggy. So I might just use this once a fortnight and see how I get on with it. And um, this is just why I'm doing this video, just to tell you guys about this product because I. I'd heard of it, but it's not one I'm familiar with. Now, guys, if you've used this product before, SB Plant Invigorator, what do you think of it? Have you noticed great results with your plants, whatever plants you're growing? And please do leave your feedback down below on this video because I like to hear people's feedback and um, what you think about this product. And as I say, um, I will do a proper review on this in the coming weeks on how our plants get on. But um, there you go, I'm giving it a mix anyway. <laughs> and uh, let's get going, guys. So as you can see, we have a lot of lot of cacti on this side and we're still in the middle of sorting things out. And um, as I said, we've got plants in the yard as well. So we have a lot of plants, but I'm just gonna start on this side here. And everybody knows how to spray plants. But as I say, just need to mix it up. And then I'm just gonna go start on this now he said to give it a fine mist so you don't want to soak it where it's absolutely dripping with it it's not a soil drench it is just a foliar a foliar spray and the spray actually helps as a um as a feed as well so it's gonna be very interesting now it doesn't say about avoiding open blooms or buds but it should be okay and uh there you go. Now I'm using this, I've already watered these plants past couple of days, so they're sort of fattening up and starting to iron their little creases out, as you can see. So it's probably good to, as with any type of pest spray, however natural it is, always good to make sure you don't use it on plants that are dry, even cacti. Make sure you use it when they're actively growing. And that's all I've done, just enough to, to mist it. It says just to mist it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll, I'm going to do the whole of the collection in the polytunnel, but I could be here a long time. So... <laughs> Well, it take me about an hour to do all the plants properly, so I won't bore you with that video. I just want to tell you about this product, and if if you're not you're not familiar with it, then go ahead and check it out, guys. As I say, it seems too good to be true. And what I like about it is it's natural, environmentally friendly. Because I hate using bug sprays. Two reasons why. I mean, I don't like killing anything, even insect pests. Me and Hans are vegan, and that means we don't kill anything unless you know. Obviously, if a lion came at our throats, we'd have to kill it. But we really don't like the idea of killing anything even bugs you know everything has a right right to live but you know when it comes to growing plants um indoors you know you have to obviously the plants do come first in this case it's it's all about prevention it's doing the best you can and me and Hans do everything we can to to eliminate harm in anything and um this looks pretty good and including it's, it's environmentally friendly too so guys, um, stay tuned for future updates on SB Plant, Plant Invigorator and Bug Killer. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to know a bit more about how to grow cacti and succulent plants, and you're new to the hobby, do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com.
www.ghostbusiness.com. <laughs> so guys, I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power from across the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye. Plant power.